Welcome to another video in the order to cash playlist. In the last video, I explained the process of standard sales from stock with valuated stock in transit and the proof of delivery. In the video today, I will demonstrate the process end to end on SCEP S4HANA 2021. So I will start by showing you the master data that I will use in the demo. Then I will create a sales order, then a goods issue to stock in transit, then a proof of delivery, and then the billing document. And I will show you the accounting entries through the process. I will start by showing you the master data of the customer I will use in the demo. To do this, go to transaction BP. The customer I'm using today is this one, 1703. And then if we go to the sales data, so go to customer FLCU01, then go to sales and distribution, shipping. Here we have these two important fields. The first one is POD relevant. So this one has to be checked in order to be able to use the proof of delivery with this customer and the proof of delivery time frame has to be filled. So this means that we expect to have the proof of delivery within four days. Then let's go back. The second thing in the master data is the material master data. So to go to the material master data, go to MM03. The material I will use today is TG12. Then if we go to the accounting one data, here we have the plant 1710. And then if you check here, we have the valuation class. I have already explained all of this before, so I'm going faster than usual. But I have explained what's the meaning of valuation class and how it is used in the account determination of material management in the account, uh, the material management account determination playlist. I also have a free course available in Udemy, so you can check this if you want to understand how the valuation class can impact the determination of the GL accounts for the inventory, uh, for, the, for the inventory GL accounts. So here we have the valuation class. This is the normal one assigned to any material. And here we also have another one called VC sales, sales order stock. So this is valuation class for sales order stock. And this is the one that is used to determine GL, the GL account for the stock in transit. So here I have a different GL account from this, uh, a different valuation class from this one. So the valuation, this valuation class posts to the finished good uh, inventory account while this valuation class will post the stock in transit GL account. So this is why I have two different valuation classes here. Now you have seen all the important fields related to the master data for this process. So we have seen the customer master data and the material master data. Now let's move to the first step in the process, which is creating the sales order. So let's go back. Before we start the process, in order to be able to run this process on SAP, you must do some configuration steps. All these steps have already been updated to the configuration manual available to the elite members of the channel. As you see here, we have multiple steps. So we need to define a specific order type, item category, a schedule, uh, schedule line categories, and then assign them to movement types. There are many configuration steps. So if you'd like to see how this can be configured, you can check them in the Elite Members Configuration Manual. Now let's go back to the system and start by creating our sales order. The transaction is VA01. So this is very similar to the standard sales from stock process that I demonstrated before. But this time I'm using the order type I created for this process, which is OR in transit, ORIT. Here we have the sales organization, channel and division as any normal process, enter. And then here we have our customer. So this is the customer I'm using. Here we have to insert a reference. So let's say test POD. And then we insert the required delivery date. So let's say the delivery date is 01 of June. And the material is TG12. And let's say the quantity is 40 pieces. Now I will go to the details of the item. So click here and then click on details. So first go to shipping. Here I will insert the storage location 171C. This is similar to any standard process. Now, as you see here, we have the POD relevant checkbox. This is already checked. This is because we have the master data set up correctly. So now this is the first field we need to see. Then go to schedule lines. And here, as you see, we have the schedule line item category in you. So this is different from the standard item category used in normal orders. So this one is connected to our proof of delivery configuration. So we have the item category in you here. And this is all we need to see. Now save. And let's move to the second step of the process. Posting the goods issue to stock in transit. So far, we don't have any accounting entries. We only posted the sales order. So I will go to sales document here and then go to deliver. Here we insert the shipping point, 1710. Selection date, 
So the delivery should be after 1st of June because th this is the requirement date. So I will insert here 17 June, for example. And then we have our order number, enter. So here is our order. We have the material number and the delivery quantity is 40. Now go to picking, similar to any standard process. And here we insert the pick the quantity. So let's say 40. If you want to deliver less than 40, then we can say that we are going to deliver only 30 and have the the quantity as 30. Then save. And then go back, outbound delivery, change, and post goods issue. Then go to history so we can see the posted document. Here we have the sales order. Then we have the outbound delivery. We have a picking request that's automatically created. And we have our material document. So double click here or one click and then click on display document. So this is the material movement. And this is the one that's different from the standard process. In the standard process, we have a movement type that will issue the products to cost of goods sold. But here we have a movement type that will transfer the products from unrestricted normal stock to restricted sales order stock. As you see here, so from here we had the material and the plant storage location and we have nothing here. And then it moved to a stock that is marked as a stock in transit and that is blocked for the outbound delivery that has this number. So now this stock is in the transit for this outbound delivery. Then if we go here to material, we can see here the material code. Go to quantity, we can see the quantities, 40. If we go to where, we can see the movement type. So this one is picked automatically from the configuration we did. It is connected to the scheduling li uh, schedule line item category. As you see, this one is called GM delivery to, uh, to issue valuated standard stock in transit. Valuated stock in transit, sorry. So this is valuated stock in transit. And this one is different from the standard movement type that's used when we issue the product finally to the customer. So this is the difference in the process. And here we have our plant. So everything is okay now. If we go to FI documents, double click here. We can see the first accounting entry that is different from the standard process also. So here, as you see, we have a credit to the inventory trading goods. So this is the standard inventory account for the item, 540. And we have a debit to an account that I call trading goods in transit. And I have created it with the same number, but I added one at the end. So this is uh, an account that has exactly the same definition as the standard inventory account. But here it has different description. And now we have moved the stock from the standard stock to stock in transit and we can see this in our balance sheet. So this is our first business requirement. The second thing is we can see in all our stock reports that we have some stock in transit. So let's move to this step. Now I will open the, the report MMBE, which is a report we use in inventory management to see the stock we have MMBE. And here I have the material code and then I will insert the plan 1710 and then execute. Now, as you see here, we have issuing valuated stock in transit and we have two storage locations so this one is separate from the other storage locations we know that we have some stock that is only for the stock in transit if i double click here i can see the outbound delivery numbers so this is our outbound delivery and this one i created before and here we have the amount that is in this outbound delivery so we know that for this outbound delivery we have 40 items in stock so now on the level of finance and also on logistics we can see that we have some stock in transit which is our requirement. Now let's move to the next step that we already delivered the items to the location agreed on with the customer and the customer has signed a note saying that yes, I received the items completely. In this case, we post the proof of delivery. So let's go back here. And to post the proof of delivery, there is a specific transaction for this. That's called VLPOD. So this is the transaction, change outbound delivery. So double click here. We insert the outbound delivery number, enter. And then we click on confirm proof of delivery. So as you see, we have the delivery quantity, proof of delivery quantity. Now I can click here on confirm proof of delivery and then click on save. And then go to the history. Now there is another accounting entry that has been posted. Let's see it. So now if you see the history, we have the order. We have the picking request. We have the outbound delivery here. We have the first goods issue to stock in transit. And we have the second goods issue to the final goods issue to the customer. So if I open this one, display. So now see this layout is different from the other one because this is not a transfer. We are not moving the stock to somewhere to another type of stock, but we are issuing it completely. So here we have the item, we have the quantity, 
and then if we go here to where this is the movement type 601 and it is good the issue but this time it's happening from stock in transit and if we want to see the accounting entry we can go here to fi documents double click on accounting document and this is the final accounting entry we have so uh, we have a debit to the cost of goods sold here in my system it's called consumption trading goods and we have a credit to the trading goods uh, trading inventory of stock and transit now this is the final accounting entry and now we no longer have stock in stock and transit for this outbound delivery the last step is to post the billing document and here there's a very good note that if we try to post the billing document before posting the proof of delivery SAP will give an error so the system controls that in order to post the billing document we must post the proof of delivery first because we have mentioned that this process is related to proof of delivery now to post the billing document we do this normally like any other process so we go to VF01 and we insert our outbound delivery number and then post now if I want to see the accounting entry I can go to billing document display and then here enter accounting accounting document this is the standard entry for any uh, for any sales that happen so we have a debit to the customer a credit to sales revenue and we have also a credit to taxes this is it this is the whole process so now you understand how to use the normal standard sale from stock process and you understand how to use the standard sales from stock process with variated stock in transit and proof of delivery i hope the video was easy to understand and useful don't hesitate to leave me your questions or your comments. If you want me to add any other processes to the playlist of order to cash, let me know. If you want me to add anything else to this specific process for valuated stock and transit, please let me know. Let me know also if you have any strange business requirements that came when you discussed this process. And also leave me any comments you want. Don't forget to check the other videos in this playlist and check the videos in the other playlists and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.